Good afternoon. Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Driving. Me, myself, and I as per normal. Oh, excuse me. Uh, got the burps today. So, Deep Thought is doing that extra little bit for the nice people. I just finished doing my uh, four hours taking care of a elderly gentleman with Parkinson's. Um, I work for two companies. This is the other company I work for. It's the client I get to take care of. Every Tuesday, 11 to 3, I get to spend four hours with him while his wife gets to go out and, uh, you know, do the groceries, do the running around, all that kind of fun stuff. Anyhow, um, lovely, lovely people. The gentleman he almost never lets me do anything. I Usually on a busy day, I get to shave him, uh, maybe soak his feet, trim his toenails, tr trim his fingernails, and uh, yeah, hang out and chat with him. That's basically, you know, it. So today, I got to do a little extra. Uh, the missus, when she left, she had a load of laundry in the washer. So when I heard the, dry, the washer finish, I went in there through the dryer. And then when the dryer was done, I pulled it out and I folded it. And I put it on the stool on the chair for her. Fold it. I didn't put it away. I allowed her to put it away wherever she wants. And then the uh, the mister, he uh, well, pretty much not long after I got there, he's like, you know, Tony, you give me a shave? You give me a shave? Yeah, sure. Not a problem, sir. I need a haircut. So, uh, got to uh, shave him up. And uh, with him, he's got really sensitive skin. And he's got Parkinson's, so he's got a lot of the body twitching and everything. So you gotta go slow and take your time. You do a quadrant, you give it five minutes. You do a quadrant, give it five minutes. Do a quadrant, you know, gotta do, you know, five minute breaks, you know. Do here, give it a couple minutes. Do here, give it a couple minutes. It's about a 20 minute process. 20 minutes to half an hour to get him shaved up nice and neat and clean. The electric shaver, um, I seem to be the only one who can really get a good shave done with him for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so when I'm shaving, there's a lot of stubble. It's long. Probably a quarter of an inch, almost half an inch long sometimes depending on where it is so it takes a lot to get that shaved down and uh, electric razors are used for short stubble they're not really good for the longer stuff and they heat up a lot when you're shaving the longer hair facial hair so it takes a while and he's sensitive skin you know the razor gets hot I you know stop check feel in the back of the hand Ooh, that is getting warm okay we'll give it a couple minutes to cool down and usually his meds are kicking in or wearing off I'm not sure which so he gets he gets pretty sleepy so he has a little five minutes siesta in the wheelchair and away you go again so I got him shaved up and and everything and he's doing good and uh, anyhow I have to pause there for a second um, shaving him up yeah so you know get him all shaved up it's all good and he's kind of resting in his chair and having his you know little siesta here and there doing good and uh, he's fighting something off he's uh, I don't know if it's a, a flu or what but he's fighting something off that uh, a different worker excuse me brought into the house and uh, he wasn't doing so great so he was getting hot and flushed getting you know, breaking out in a sweat and he asked me if I could uh, help him with you know have a shower so sh sure of course so long story short get him in the shower get him rinsed off you know cleaned up clean clothes on cool down cleaned off refreshed feeling better he's a lot happier and uh well i've got all these towels and everything i'm gonna grab what's in the laundry basket i'm gonna throw them all in the wash and want throw the washer you fill the washer up and get it going <laughs> so i grabbed the towels that you know used to make the mess and that clean them up grab the stuff in the laundry basket and uh, throw in the wash so she comes home and she's got groceries it's only one bag but still so I go over there I grab the bag and 
Every time she's got bro groceries, I always grab the bag and carry it into the house for her. I mean, she's a little old lady. She's fine. Five foot nothing. She's probably in her late, late 60s, early 70s. So, you know, she's head, shoulder problems and everything. She's got, you know, she's not in the... She's doing pretty good, but she's not in 100% health and, you know, had some injuries. So, like, I can help her out. And she's like... What's going on? What? Nothing. I turn, put the wash on. Well, you didn't have to do that. Well, you know, you weren't here to stop me. So, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I got to do some extra stuff. So, yeah. It was kind of nice. They were really appreciative. And I told them that uh, anytime, you know, like, he wants to have a shower or something, to, you know, just let me know and I'll do it. I can I can help him, help him out. Because now that he's had the shower, when it comes to be bedtime later tonight, his wife, the missus, doesn't have to wash him up. He's already clean. So there you go. So I just took a load of work off of her this evening. And doing the laundry helps her out too. And, you know, told him, I got no problem. I'll gladly do the extra stuff if you'll actually let me do something to help you out. So I'm having a good day. I don't know if I'm just putting out some good karma or what, but you know, I got, I feel good because I got to do some extra stuff to help out a lovely couple who need it. And they never ask. They almost never ask for anything. I mean, him asking for me to shave him or maybe soak his feet and you know, can you, do you mind cutting my fingernails? Do you mind cutting my toenails? You know, he asks, he, they act like I am you know, like curing cancer or building them a freaking house or something, you know? It's like, I'm not really doing all that much, you know? Uh, some places I work, you know, I can do a whole heck of a lot more stuff. So, you know, it's, 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 if you want me to do something, just ask and I'll do it. Makes me feel good to be able to help them out, make life a little easier for them. It's, it's part of taking care of, you know, being a good person and taking care of our elderly because you know what there isn't enough people taking care of the elderly we need to show our respect for our elderly and take care of them because you know what they're the ones who brought us up into this world and got us to where we are and helped us not to mention we can learn so much from them they uh, they went through so many hard times when they you know they were our age. The least you can do is sit down with the elderly and listen to their stories. You'd be surprised how much you can learn from them. So yeah, when you get a chance, if you get a chance to, you know, do that extra little bit for to help somebody else out. And if it's the elderly, that's even better. So, all right, that's it. That's the deep thought for today. I've rambled on. I'm almost home. So, yeah, do that extra little bit to help others out and, uh, you know, help take care of your elderly. You won't regret it. Later.